Another day, same bull squash. Let's get right into it. All right, what's up studs and chats? Coming at you guys with Black Ops Season 1 news. We got news about the PS5 controller. We have a massive plot twist. And speaking of a massive plot twist, right? Sony is getting ready to attack. They're getting ready to do helicopters with their willies. And I'm looking at the streets. The streets are crying, yo. We're, we're, we're gonna talk about it. They're getting ready to buy another one of those studios. And I mean, god damn it, they're back at it again. We're gonna talk about all of that in this video. So definitely sit down if you're standing and kiss your loved ones. Or actually, don't kiss it. We're still in this funny situation. Situation. But first of all, shout out to every single one of you guys out there because yesterday I was like, hey man, anyone who drops a comment on my video, I might be smashing the like button because of course like EA was fined 10 million euros and not every single day we have that pog of a news, right? So I was like, hey, let me go ahead and smash like on every single one of your comments, right? What what could go wrong, right? We hit 700 plus comments. Mm -hmm, I stayed up smashing the like button. I woke up and I was still smashing the like button. And if you got two likes on this video, I might have to do that all over again. So let's just get right into it. Over first story is about Sony. Now, I'm gonna get to the point because this actually happened a couple of days ago, but this is a big plot, okay? We heard that Sony will grow first party organically, could bolster portfolio with acquisitions, and Push Square was like, hey, Jim Ryan uh, pocketing his checkbook for now, and in English, it just means that they're trying to do helicopters with their Wooly and routers or routers. They kind of came out, they put up this full-blown report, and apparently they have done an interview with Jim Ryan, and the main point here was that Sony plans to grow its studio capability organically but where we can bolster our in-house capability with selective MNA that might be possible Ryan said and they also said that we're definitely looking upwards and thinking that we can do better than we thought we could and you know what quickly after we heard about Todd Howard, the man from the streets, kind of came out and he says that it's hard to imagine not bringing the Elder Scrolls 6 to multiple platforms, right? And of course, if you have been following, you know that like Phil Spencer came out, he was like talking in riddle, he was hinting at the fact that Elder Scrolls 6 is just gonna be staying on the Xbox. And personally, I play on the Sony Ponies, I'm a Sony pony, but of course, like, we all have to agree, right? If you're gonna pay, like, 7.5 billion, yo, that's paper, okay? You, 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 you cannot grow that. You cannot make the money by growing that in the backyard. I guess we can all agree with that. Smash the like button if you agree, but uh, the thing was that he was hinting at the fact that Elder Scrolls 6 is not gonna be coming to the Sony pony cons. That's what it sounded like, and now Todd Howard is like, uh, but, 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 it's hard to imagine not bringing the Elder Scrolls 6 to multiple platforms. And I agree with Todd Howard. It, it is definitely hard to imagine but dog, like at the end of the day, your daddy just paid you 7.5 billion. So what else do you want, right? So if you're part of the 500 IQ gang, of course you cannot forget that like their daddy paid them 7.5 billion. So needless to say, it seems very hard to me that we're gonna see Elder Scrolls 6 on the PS5. Like I'm just gonna keep a buck 50 with you guys. And I'm really glad that I'm not a fan of Bethesda. I'm, I'm not saying that in a negative way. It's just that I never played their games. Nobody told me about it. And same thing is kind of happening here with this situation where we're we're now hearing Sony has reportedly entered final negotiations with AT&T to acquire the anime streaming service Crunchyroll and personally this doesn't affect me either because nobody told me about like anime right like nobody told me that anime existed I'm gonna point my fingers okay I blame everybody but myself okay it's just that people did not tell me that anime exists all right but this is massive yo because uh, the, the streets will be crying if this goes through. Sony has reportedly entered final negotiations for Crunchyroll and allegedly prepared to pay upwards of $957 million. So that's like not even a billy, or we can say that's a billy. That's like one seventh of what? Less than one seventh of what like Microsoft paid. That is crazy, yo. And like we got homie out there. He kind of added me in the situation. We got people out there and the streets are really crying. I mean, even Kotaku reported the fact like you guys you, you, you and see homie said that I feel time to try to bring backlash to Microsoft for buying Bethesda and then you know we have a Sony pony he's a homie from the streets right he says that hentai incoming and then sadly not Sony censors everything and you know these are facts okay like Sony do be censoring everything and this report is coming from uh, according to Nikki Asia which I thought was a whammon but I got baited and apparently that's a website like whoa la flip dog like I thought that was gonna be a whammon we're gonna see bobs and vaganas but like god damn it dog. like th there's no bap out here and apparently we're really hearing that Sony might buy this like streets are crying 
crying, yo, Jesus Christ, please, no Sony hits anime, so why even do this? I swear on baby Jesus, if they make it a Sony exclusive for PS5, you can see, like, the, the streets are crying. On the flip side, another homie from the UK added me in the situation, said the UK going to national lockdown a week before Xbox release, mate. And all I gotta say here is that they're just bunch of wankers, mate. And then another homie added me in the situation, says that found this in Walmart, you know, waste money, live harder, says that for $220, you can get that one terabyte SSD for the Xbox Series X. And I, I gotta be honest, like, I'm, like I always say, I'm not a prince of Saudi Arabia, right? And in my opinion, this should be $20. Yo, $20 is $20. If it means aside, it should be like $50, okay? Like $50, like, dog, like $220, you capping, yo. You capping, man. It should be $50 at the very least. But still, though, I think $220 might be a good price. I'm putting a big might out here because I remember SSDs used to cost way more than $220. So maybe that's a good price. If any PC Master Race is around here, just uh, let me know in the chat. Share your expertise. Speaking of a plot twist, we're actually hearing that the PS5 DualSense reportedly works with the PS3. At first, I thought this was cap because apparently it does not work with the PS4. Like, we got Glitching Queen. She actually got the controller. And and I believe Glitching Queen more than anybody out there because she has been spitting facts for lord knows how long and says they got a controller. Apparently it works on PS3 but not PS4 and that's a really nice cat, okay? Definitely pet that cat for me. We also got Austin, he's having a time of his life, says that playing Black Ops on PS3 with a dual sense, uh, it's legendary and you guys can see he do be spitting facts, okay? And really dog, you're telling me that it's not gonna work with PS4 but it's gonna work with PS3. I mean, I'm not complaining dog, like I really wanted to get rid of my PS3 and I'm gonna be getting rid of my PS4 because like of course PS5 will have that PS4 backwards compatibility so there's no point of having PS4 like that so it doesn't matter if it works on PS4 or not right that's the way I see it but surely like if it worked that would be an added bonus that would be a plus but I'm glad that it's working with PS3 and of course like I would have to keep my fat PS3 around right an accurate picture by the way you know this is probably the millionth time I'm sharing this I guess the more time I will put this picture the more you will appreciate this picture okay and you got to appreciate the beauty but dog I really wish that PS5 had that PS3 backwards compatibility. Kind of sad about it, but I guess it is what it is. And we're also hearing about Black Ops. VGC put up this article, and yes, I'm like one day late on this situation. I wanted to cover this news in my last video, but the last video was kind of long, so I couldn't put it in the video. But we're hearing that Black Ops will be integrated into Warzone in December when Season 1 of the new Call of Duty game launches. And they also did say this, that however, VGC understand that a larger Black Black Ops team map revamp isn't planned to happen until 2021 and I think these are facts right because that's kind of like what we heard from the leaks as well personally I like this a lot because in November we're gonna be able to play zombies we're gonna be able to play campaign and multiplayer and once it runs dry we're gonna have December the summer is gonna roll around and then we got season one I really hope that it doesn't come at the same time of like cyberpunk I know that December 10th is like game awards we're getting cyberpunk and the chances are we're probably gonna see season one a day before that so you know what F my life Life, like I would have to stream all of that on the channel I'm excited but I don't want like everything all at once right like I, I just want a little bit of space like at least a couple of days of space but hey I like this a lot because in 2021 we're probably gonna have the nuke event that will change the warzone map and then we're probably gonna end up getting a new map right share your expertise I would love to hear more turn those notifications on click on any of the video on the screen and I will see you right there